Now for the launch of season three, I'm sure you guys want to jump in and play all the new stuff. Well, there's a specific playlist for you to jump in and play, and that is the new Arena Unlimited playlist right here, which will showcase the maps of Chasm as well as Cliffhanger with a variety of different maps and mode combinations for you to come in and enjoy. In particular, you have CTF on Chasm, and you also have one flag CTF on Cliffhanger, not vice versa or anything like that. We also see the modes of like King of the Hill, Arena Slayer. We also have Escalation Team Slayer coming in, which is the new mode for season three strongholds and also fiesta slayer for all these maps now whenever there's a new update i always get the question what are your thoughts on the new content well i thought no better way than jump in and show you guys within this video all right we got escalation team slayer on chasm this is the exact combo i want new map new mode let's jump in and see how it plays all right so first we start off with a rocket launcher and a cinder shot combo now this map i was very interested in because this is not your typical like three lane map kind of format this map has very much like i actually heard it reminiscent to say boarding action from halo combat evolved but this time in halo infinite which i think is quite interesting and didn't quite time the repulsor on that one and got hit with the rocket now i counted this previously on my video kind of doing analysis on this channel of this new mode you have to get five kills as a team per loadout before you can actually kind of level up to the next setup right here and i'm still struggling well to get my first one but this map looks absolutely incredible here oh we can get our next loadout we can actually choose when we want to upgrade which is actually kind of cool i just gotta stop dying all right, so we spawned in with a sword, gravity hammer, and also the grapple shot combo. So I'm just gonna be rocking the sword grapple shot because this is like overpowered at best right here. Slide in! Oh, this is straight out of the campaign. Look at this crazy setup right here. All right. Now I'm seeing a lot of people join and back out. I don't know if a lot of people are actually enjoying this map when it comes to this option, Chasm. I never expected Chasm to be a very... Oh God, we're gonna fall. No. Hey, we leveled up anyways. There we go. We got the sniper rifle and skewer along with the threat sensor right there. But what I was trying to say is that I don't like really expect all oh, the no scope. <laughs> I don't expect this map to be a very competitive friendly map as it's just very different from what we normally seen when it comes to map design in Halo. I know this map will one is not going to be in ranked or in HDS mode. It's going to be available for just the social side of things so keep that in mind when it comes to the content so keep that in mind when it comes to like judge this map i wouldn't judge it very harshly i think it's more just kind of meant to just kind of jump in and do some weird stuff in oh there's a no scope i do love the recent update that they made to the no scoping within halo infinite so it actually well lands there we go now we have the hydra ravager with a repulsor again okay let's see if we can maybe repulse some shots here and these guys are kind of getting on top of us with this right now i'm not really liking it this team's kind of starting to run away they have a one setup lead on us get a kill right here no oh getting shot in the back but also keep in mind that there is a bit of a comeback mechanic when it comes to this mode of escalation team slayer because of the last setup which if you guys don't know what it is we'll stick through to the end of this because it's going to be a uh, quite interesting to say the least this ravager though if you ever tried the post patch ravager woo, it can do a bit of a bit of a slap when it comes to the three round burst version like that oh my never mind i'm lying apparently okay we got the shotgun needler with a grapple shot combo on here so we got at least something going for us here okay get this guy with like a grapple shot shotgun combo move right here no so the problem is i'm kind of bad at this game I mean, this guy's just sitting in the back of the map while playing like gun game like come on man Here we got our next loadout we got the battle rifle commando with a threat sensor oh he's coming with the fusion coil he almost got us there i got a little nervous not gonna lie we're fine everything's okay i do kind of like the lack of grenades that you have with your loadouts because i think it just puts more emphasis on well your gunplay because well it's basically gun game in halo you probably should get your kills with your guns rather than your grenades so there is a way to kind of set people back in this and that is to actually get back smacks on players that will actually set them back one tier so if you're just a melee legend fiend well there's a chance for you to kind of be effective on the team as well which is really cool there we go we got a couple assists we got our next loadout shocker stalker with a wall right there i like it with this setup it's definitely best to get to the top level and then try to snipe your way to glory oh never mind a team already did it for me heat wave sentinel beam thrust no no god i'm so bad at this game how did i miss those shots i had them we got our next loadout boys bandit assault rifle wall okay let's make it happen oh there's no bloom on this bandit rifle oh that's nice i like that the recall is also kind of manageable as well. When I saw the gameplay of it the first time around, I was kind of worried about that. 
but it seems like it's not as crazy as I thought it would be. This is very manageable. This could be quite deadly, to say the least. Now, there is no descope with this, so I can scope in like this and take damage and won't be descoped out of the whole thing. Or I could just die. There's that too. I'm getting absolutely carried right now. We're not, I'm not carrying my own, as you can tell. I'm five and 13, big yikes. But we have the sidekick as well as the mangler set up right here, along with the threat sensor. I think they're on that same level as well. So things are getting a little tense. It's tied 9-9. But come on, that's gun game. Like, it's not really meant to be taken that serious. They're supposed to just kind of jump in and blow some stuff up. These guys, though, on the other team were really trying their best to, like, not, well, lose the game. And they're, like, doing some nerdy tactics of, like, hiding in the back of the map and things like that, which I'm like, come on, man. It ain't about that life. So they're on the final setup. And so are we. So this is what I was talking about. It's a oddball with a shroud screen as your weapon of choice. So your team has to get five kills on this. Can we actually line it up here a little bit? Now, within the shroud screen, you don't see have access to your radar for enemy placements right here. But this is going to be so freaking nutty. Okay, good. Teammate got it. I like that. I like it. Oh, my God. No. He's coming after me. No. Oh, my God. 10 to 11. I was not helping out there. All right. I think we need a little redemption after that last match. All right. Perfect. We got cliffhanger, one flag CTF. So I am very excited about this. We actually get to check out what the actual sandbox is like going to be on this map. So there's some unique aspects to this as well. Some huge man cannon lifts, the bandit rifles in play as well. So let's try to play around some of that new content and see what happens. We're on defense this time. Grab a heat wave right off the bat. I see the bandit. I want to get that bandit rifle. The teammate's going for it too, though, but I want it first. Yes. Oh, there we go. So you put some good shots in it right that time around. It's definitely hit scan. You don't need to lead your shots with the bandit rifle. But it only has a 1.4 time zoom with no D scope though, so keep that in mind. I'll take the shotgun. I kind of feel more consistent with that compared to the heat wave. I should run back to our base and play a little defense because I'm pretty sure my team is also not really interested in that. Here comes the shotgun play. There we go. This is a pretty big map for 4v4. Pretty large size map. Looks like there's a way to jump back over here. Yeah, our first bandit kill. Let's go. That ain't happening for you either. Ooh, clean little headshot. Like, check out this. Check out the recoil on Bloom. Like, the, there is a visual effect of Bloom on the reticle, but there definitely isn't any Bloom with this. You can take off heads with a perfect right there. Nice little five shot. Oh, there's a back route over here. Ooh, we can get sneaky. Oh, he's getting sneaky with the two though. Oh, he hit me with the sidekick. That sidekick, though, I think might have a little bit of a faster TTK. I'm pretty sure he's still right over in that little corner. We got to make him pay. Can't reward campers. And now he's finally moving. Oh, the shroud screen's in play. There we go. I did pick up a shroud screen myself. We'll see if we can make it some magic happen with that. Oh, no, I almost made it happen. Oh, dude, that would have been funny. All right, round one, win our direction. But now we got to attack this time. Let's we'll see how it plays out. So it looks like active camo's bottom mid. So that's like an interesting spot. Good spot, typical spot you would see it happen right here. Spawns up about 30 seconds after the match starts as well. Oh, you tried to get saucy with it, buddy. No, I want that camo. That's going my way. Oh, no, 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 it's not going my way. You tried that again, buddy? You know what happened last time? Nothing. Oh, we got a sniper look enemy though. Oh, we got the kill at least. We are carrying the flags. Make some magic happen there, team. Touch the flag. There we go. Let's get this flag cap. Let's make it happen. Make the cap and cap and. Let's make the cap and happen. No, it's right there. <laughs> Teammate, you see the shoot the guy. Let's get the cap, get the cap. Oh, no! Don't tell me this is getting returned. Don't tell me this is being returned. It got returned. I'm in pain right now. I can't believe it. It was right there, man. You just had the. To... Now, a good thing to utilize when you're first playing these maps is the AI scan. As it will showcase where like weapon pickup spots are. Like there's a spot over here. We can see what's around this corner. Oh, it's actually just a fusion coil. <laughs> All right, teammates on the move though. He picked up the flag. With a few seconds left, we get that kill. All right, we're making some progress. We retreat it. We took out three guys on the way for our flag carriage. Just gotta make the magic happen. You gotta go, dude. That's all you, man. We just gotta run over there. We gotta support the team. We see my teammate go down. I'm nervous. My sensitivity was going crazy for whatever reason right now. On my mouse. All right. Can we make it happen again for ourselves? I can know how the flag juggle at least. We'll make it run. 
There we go, we did it, flag cap is ours. All right, talking about mouse sensitivity, a great change that they did is actually add in extra levels of sensitivity you can choose right now. So you can actually choose up to the thousands of percentage when it comes to that kind of stuff. So very useful when it comes to your percentages because like I was like trying my hardest to just maintain sensitivity between 0.2 and 0.3. Now having that little micro adjustments is gonna be crucial when it comes to tuning my mouse sensitivity just right. Oh, that is not how you do that, buddy. Nice job using that shroud screen setting on the flag. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, let's back him up with a little damage right there. Get that kill. And that one. Oh, but then we got hit with a nade. We got a little DMR sniper combo. They grabbed our flag again, man. These guys are all about that objective, which good on them, man. A lot of times you don't see that within social matches, but that's cool. Headshot. Yeah, done. Got 10 seconds to defend this. I think we can make the magic happen. This will be a game winner if we defend this right. Oh, get him out of here. Oh, flawless victory with the Nesca Bandit out. You love to see it. 21 and 10. That's how you do it. I told you we were going to get our redemption. Now, if you want to see all the new customization and battle pass within season three, check out this video right here. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.